Welcome back guys and today we're gonna talk about Bitcoin mempool short for Bitcoin memory pool and what is it and how does it work. Bitcoin memory pool is list of all transactions that are currently stuck and unprocessed on the Bitcoin network. You can see a lot of different colors here and they actually represent the amount in fees that people paid for the transaction to be processed. So if you pay $1 in fee and somebody else pays $10 in fee, you will be placed in this lower bracket here and he would be placed in this upper bracket here. And that would mean that his transactions would be picked up by miners a lot faster than your transactions because he offers better rewards for miners. And his transaction might be done in one hour or just 30 minutes while you have to wait maybe one or even two days for a transaction to be completed. You can see this huge spike in transactions right here when the average transaction fee was about $20. And that was just a few days ago. Now average transaction fee is only $5 which is still a lot higher than it was just a few months back when you could get uh, 1 or 2 Bitcoin cent in fee with only $1 or $2. So we are now really at almost the highest fees ever but they are nothing compared to 3 or 4 days ago. And if you don't know where that money from the transaction fee goes, it actually goes to the people or the miners that process your transaction. So if there are maybe 10 or 20 confirmations for your transaction and average confirmations that you need for, to send bitcoins is about 6. And if you get only 6 confirmations then it's 99.9% .9 sure that your transaction is valid. But if you get more, then it's more than 99.9% .9 sure, but you don't really need more and most of the transactions will be done with only 6 confirmations. But the more confirmations that your transaction gets, then there are more people that have to share the reward. So if let's say you send 100 bitcoins and your fee is maybe $100, let's say it just like that to calculate it a lot easier and 100 people confirmed your transaction then every one of that people that confirmed it or miners would get one dollar in reward and of course they're gonna pick higher rewards than lower ones because why would they confirm transactions where they would get more, maybe only just one or two cents if they can confirm only higher transactions where they would get maybe 10 or 20 dollars per confirmation and actually paying so high transaction fees doesn't hurt anyone else except people that send bitcoins because miners get their rewards a lot higher than they would get usually and then there are more miners than before and as the number of miners increases the fees go down because there are more miners fighting for your rewards so you don't have to worry that fees will go up to 100, 200 or 1000 dollars or something like that because the moment that fees go up number of miners will also increase because mining bitcoin will get more and more profitable than before so fees should actually stabilize at about 5 or 2, 3 dollars all the time in the future so don't be afraid of higher fees because as fees go up number of miners will also increase and everything will stabilize just as it did every time in the past. And just a quick reminder about the giveaway from the few days back. Be sure to check if your subscriptions are set public because if they are not public I can't see if you subscribed to my channel or if you didn't. I can see that there are currently 115 subscribers and only about 30 of them have their subscription set public. So I'm gonna give you about one or two more days to check that and to enter the giveaway. Because if you subscribed and your subscription isn't public, there is no way that I can know if you subscribed and you can't win the reward. So thank you guys for watching, subscribe and see you in another video.